Hello, it's Stephanie here, and today I have a video to share a card that I've created with the July Simon Says Stamp Card Kit. This is a really fun nautical themed kit with a lot of fun water themed images and um, really great nautical themed colors like blues and reds. So for this card here, I'm going to first start out with the exclusive die that comes in the kit. It's a little sailboat, and I just think it's adorable. I knew that I wanted to use it a few times on this card design. So I'm just using my T-square ruler to line up the boats, and I'm kind of not putting them completely straight on the card. I want them to kind of be um, tilted a little bit, just because I'm going to be using this long wave stamp, and I want them to look like they're actually floating in the water. So I didn't want them per perfectly straight up and down. So I just went ahead and die cut all of those out and now I'm going to go ahead and stamp this wave stamp directly underneath of them. And I'm going to stamp it with Versamark ink so that I can heat emboss it with white embossing powder. And when I position the stamp on, underneath the sailboats here, I'm going to kind of go a little bit up so that the bottoms of the sailboats actually look like they're in the waves. Just to give it an even more realistic look like they're actually floating in the water. And now I'm just going to take my embossing powder and go ahead and sprinkle that on. You can't see it in the video um, just because it's uh, cream cardstock with white embossing powder. But when we start to do the inking on the card, you'll be able to see where we've embossed that wave. So I'm just going ahead and using my heat gun here, heating it up so that I set all that embossing powder. And now I'm going to go ahead with some distress ink with Peacock Feathers Distress Ink. And I'm going to add ink onto the whole bottom area of this piece. Now I'm eventually going to end up cutting this out with a stitched rectangle die so it's going to be a little bit smaller than the area I'm working on but I'm still starting off the edge of the page so that I get a nice smooth blended transition with the ink from the edges to the um, inside area of the paper there. And I knew I would be doing a lot of inking and coloring so I'm working today on the um, new Simon Says Stamp paper pad. This is a great um, 11 by 17 paper pad that has all these great grid lines on them and you can just rip off the sheet when you're done with it and then you have a whole bunch more underneath. I think there's 50 sheets in a pad. So I'm just working on that so that I can just go ahead and ink like crazy and not worry about making a mess. And as you can see as I went along here, you can really see the white embossing now. I just took my time when I got to the top area and just was careful not to go above the waves with the ink, just because I only want the ink to be in the water area. So I just went around, completely covered the piece, and then, like I said, just went really carefully at the top to make sure I kept all that ink contained down below the embossed lines. So now that I have the water done, I need to go ahead and work on the boats. So I kept all the small pieces that came out of the piece when I die cut them, because I knew that I was going to color them with Copic markers and then put them back into the open space. So this is all going to end up being a one layer card because I'm going to inlay all the die cut pieces back into it. So I'm just using some gray colors here to do the main part of the boat, the bottom and then um, the little mast arm that sticks up. And I just started with my lightest color first and then just added some darker colors as I went just to give it a little bit of shading so it didn't look super flat. I just wanted a little bit of dimension with that coloring. And then once I have all of the bottom parts done, I'm going to go ahead and put them back into the space. And what I like to do when I have this type of um, space that I want to put my die cut pieces back into, I just take normal scotch tape and I just go ahead and run it along the back of the openings and then just completely line it up one each beside each other so that I have a continuous piece of adhesive and then when you flip it over those die cuts will just fit right in there and they'll stick to that tape that you have so it's just an easy way to um, put adhesive on the back and fully know that it's fully covered so all those little die cut pieces are going to stick in there without any problem so you can see there I went ahead and put all the bottom pieces in and like I said when I had did the embossing you can kind of see now that it looks like the boats are in the waves this is just a was just a way that I thought would make it look even more realistic and like they were floating around in the water. So now I'm going to continue on with my Copic coloring. It's time to work on the first sail and I'm going to be doing this in a reddish color. So I'm just taking the same as I did before, my lightest color first and then I'm just going ahead and adding the darker color on the edges and then kind of blending until I get it how I like it. An easier way to color these, just because you can see that I have to, um, they're not very large pieces and I kind of have to use my finger and I ended up getting ink all over my fingers coloring like this. You can, before you actually remove the die cuts, um, you can kind of die cut them twice if you want to take that extra step and leave them inserted into the paper and then kind of use that as a placeholder to keep everything still while you're coloring them. And then you can just throw out that outside piece once you have everything colored. So it just depends what you prefer. If you don't want to get inked fingers, then that's probably an easier way to do it. 
So now you can see there I put the red sails in and I'm going ahead and doing the blue sails. Same process as before, just three colors, lightest color first and then adding my darker color and then the medium color to help blend everything out. And then I'm just going to go ahead like I did before and place all those right into the opening so that all my sailboats are complete. So now you can see I have all these great little sailboats floating in this great inked water that I've created. So the last thing I need to do as far as the stamping goes is give this a sentiment. So I used the You Are a Lifesaver sentiment from the stamp set and just stamped it in black ink directly in the water. And then I took my clear wink of Stella glitter marker and I'm just adding some glitter to the sails on the boats. And I also stamped a little red heart there by the sentiment and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that wink of Stella to that little heart as well. And then now it's time to start to assemble the card. So I ended up matting the stamped piece. I cut it out, like I said, with a rectangle stitch die and matted it onto a red piece of cardstock from the kit and then used a piece of craft foam in between the matted red piece and the cream card base just to give it a little bit of dimension. And now just to finish the card off and add a little bit more detail since it is so flat, I'm going to use the twine that comes in the kit and just create a little bow here at the bottom piece. And I decided once I had it tied, it took me a little bit there to get it tied how I liked it, um, that I didn't like it so low on the card. So I ended up lifting up the bottom part of that panel that we have adhered to the card base. And I'm just going to slide that twine up so that it's kind of in the middle area. I just thought that it was more pleasing to the eye to have it directly under the water waves than have it so low on the card. And then once I have that there, I'm just going to position the strings how I want them. And then that completes the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed this video featuring the July Simon Says stamp card kit. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.